God, Jay is still asleep again. This is just, this is an all too common occurrence. Jay, it's time to do the show and you're still Why? asleep. What? What do you want? God, um, calm down, man. What's the matter? What do you want? Well, it's time to do the show and you're in bed. So get up and what Why? You haven't had your coffee yet, have you? No! Um, what? What's it to you? Well, goodness, we're just gonna... Well, luckily, there just happens to be a cup of coffee sitting over here. What a fortuitous thing. So, um, here... Give me that! Oh. I think we're gonna see a change here. <sighs> Let's go! Can you smell it? Mmm. Mmm. I guess it's time to welcome people to this program. Yeah, it's about time. Well, actually, no, it's about coffee. It's Slaves to the Bean, this episode of Rocks. Now, Rocks is a, a program that's made by me. I'm Jay. I'm a bartender. And uh, there's this guy, too. <laughs> B. Uh, I'm your editor, and then we also uh, have all these other people out here, kind of the Rocks Coffee Clash this morning. It's our Coffee Clash. Here's my coffee. You might notice that it's sort of a very light brown shade. That's because I really don't like coffee, and I have to smother it with cream, which in turn leads to diarrhea. It gives me sort of that burning ring of fire that I like to start the day off with. I waited a good four hours later than my normal cup, and then I dragged my ass over here because I was in pain. Yeah, Literal you pain. Knew we had coffee. Yeah. And it was <laughs> running for the source like a lemming. Uh, uh, coffee, coffee, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I heard. Trying We've to gathered together to so drink funny. coffee and to bow down in, in our uh, wholehearted subservience to the bean. Good God, I'm out of coffee. Excuse yeah. me. That little feeling that you get inside, you know, as the gastrocolic reflex is finally stimulated, triggered just by the smell, the touch, the, the taste, the sight of coffee. Head some of the bathroom. See you, Bart. Have fun. The basic things to know about coffee. Okay, is it recording? Yeah. Names. So what exactly do the names of coffee mean? Names refer to the degree of roast, and that usually has a European name, a Vienna roast, French roast. Those beans don't actually come from France. Names can also refer to where the bean has come from. Mocha coffee is not a chocolate flavoring. Mocha is a place where the bean came from, which is also similar to say Java. Java is a place where the bean, the coffee bean, has come from. And names can also refer to a dealer's name for a blend or an estate where the bean has been roasted. Names can refer to a flavoring that has been added to the bean after it has been roasted. Some chocolate flavoring or, you know, crap like that. <laughs> We gotta make some more coffee now. I'm grinding my beans right now. We have here natural brown number four cone coffee filters. Oh. Because we don't get into that dioxin shit. Yeah, anytime you can use unbleached paper, it's probably a good idea. Bleach, uh, the bleaching process produce, produces as, a, as a, a byproduct dioxin, which is the most dangerous chemical known to man. It's bleached um, copy paper and all of that. Bad stuff. So we've put the uh, coffee um, grounds in here in this little thing, and then you put the uh, the the spigot spout thing over the coffee, 
so that the water pours in the, into the coffee rather than back into the container from which it's coming. These are the things that, uh, that you have to understand if you're going to make coffee. These are the things that dreams are made of. And then you just close the lid, as I have done right here, turn it on, and just fucking wait. I mean, it's just that easy. Wait? Wait, yeah, that's We the... have to wait! <laughs> yeah. Oh, thanks for picking my nose. I had a what? big booger in it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, excuse me. So, I seem to be having some kind of an allergy attack. Coffee is a very good, um, uh, thing. thing. And so, I'm gonna have some. <laughs> when, when, like, you know, rays are shooting out of your head and your, your nostrils are sparking, um, then, uh, well, you just forget about your allergies and kind of smile. One night, me and a bunch of my friends, we were 16 years old, and, and we took acid for the first time. We ended up at a Denny's and, uh, uh, in Indianapolis. Of course, what else are you going to do? But our waitress's name was Joy, and she had a big goiter on one side of her face, and the other half of her face was paralyzed. But we didn't know if it was really her face or if we were just peeking. She'd be out there every five minutes, and she'd refill our coffee cups, and she'd go, and the coffee keeps coming and coming and coming. And we put so much sugar in the coffee that we didn't know like whether we were buzzing off the sugar or the caffeine. <laughs> and then these military guys came in and they started harassing us. Just ended up that we got chased out of the Denny's because we were out of control. Well, so that's, that's the story. <laughs> the nicotine caffeine bond. Why, hello there. It's not too cold. If you smoke cigarettes and drink coffee, it actually cuts down on the amount of uh, caffeine you can absorb. I only smoke about one or two or sometimes three of these things a day. Jenny and I both went uh, cold turkey on caffeine, cigarettes, uh, tobacco. Marijuana. Marijuana and alcohol. And, and so you know what was the only thing that I had trouble giving up? Caffeine. I can't quit uh, drinking coffee for two months, and then my first cup of coffee was like, yeah. I could feel it hit my brain instantly. Complete so riot. Raining. Almost a spiritual experience. With a syringe. You can't really know what it's like to be oh. fucked up if you're not straight every once in a while. Drugs are just good down dirty fun. I'm coming out here because I don't drink coffee, but I don't smoke cigarettes, but I hang out with people that... Because she's yeah. cool. Yeah, because I'm cool. X. <laughs> the conversations are much richer in the smoking section. <laughs> and when talking about the taste of coffee, you talk about the body, you talk about the aroma, te you talk about the finish. You can't really say that there's a best coffee. There might be a taste that you, um, that you really, really like, like your favorite kind of coffee. Like maybe you like a medium body or a darker roast, or you like acidity and maybe or maybe you don't like acidity in coffee, co coffee, coffee. So it all depends on your personal taste and maybe what you're used to. One of the dangerous things about addictions, of course, is that they can become progressive. You know, you kind of drink a little bit more each day, you build up a tolerance, and so you want a little bit more. And you know, hell, one cup of coffee feels good, so why not have two? And then, you know, you have two every morning, why not have three? And before you know it, you're drinking a whole pot of coffee. America is a drug culture. Everybody in America drinks coffee. If you don't, then you're um, a communist and you should be shot. So, Talk. so Jenny, Jenny has some, uh, some, some coffee statistics here for you, and she thought she'd um, um, tell you. Did I agree to this? Yeah, well, mm -hmm. it's in your contract. Beverage Marketing Magazine defines heavy coffee drinkers as people who drink 10 or more cups of coffee a day. Heavy coffee drinkers account for 27% of all coffee drinkers and 53% of all the coffee consumed in the U.S. heavy drinkers. Oh, whoops. Tend to be less well educated than average coffee drinkers. Less well. I don't know. These statistics, I don't, they don't help me. Yeah. Well, but do they feel like you? Does, do they help you justify your habit, though? They certainly help me justify my habit because I realize that there are people who drink more than me, and so um, they're the ones with the problem, not me. This is a 30-pound coffee roaster. Uh, the coffee begins up in the uh, hopper here. Your uh, green beans go in here. More like a a stone color, like um. Yeah. Well, they'll vary. This is, a, this is a Colombian Supremo. This okay. is just a, a green, uh, it, it's a neutral in its state. There's mm -hmm. no flavor. Uh, you bring your temperature up to about 425, and then the coffee is dropped into the main chamber. There are parts in here which are flipping this coffee at all times. 
and this chamber will feed the beans into the cooling tray. Mm -hmm. Prior to opening this, I have a trial and I'm monitoring the beans at all times because I'm in the last few seconds. I want to know exactly where that bean's going. Seconds make a world of difference. I have no desires for fame and fortune, but I, 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 I like the product I do. I like roasting good coffee and I like people enjoying it. I think this is a damn good cup of coffee. <laughs> well, um, we're, uh, we're brewing our fourth pot of coffee now. Um, I think this thing goes on here. Um, and uh, we're, we're almost ready for this. Um, I think it's time that we, um, that we mix a drink um, with booze in it so oh, that... Um, that'll calm us down. Yeah, it'll calm us down some. Um, but uh, in the meantime, um, watch this. Anything more about coffee that... Coffee, coffee. One thing that I want to stress here in the storage of coffee, you don't store your coffee beans in the refrigerator. Moisture is the enemy of coffee. You want to store your coffee in a cool, dry, airtight place, and you don't definitely want to store it in the freezer. But, but I thought you used to keep all that coffee in the freezer. That's when I didn't know better. Is there anything else you want to know about coffee? No, I have no interest in coffee. Let's talk about marijuana. What's Drugs. that smell in here? Oh, it's drugs. Oh, it's... What you doing? The, 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 the... Oh, uh, oh, uh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little seal of approval. We have to taste all the um, coffee that ever is made in the world. And if we like it, it gets the stamp of approval. Oh, wow. Hey! Yeah, Friend you me! Now I shall drink a bean juice. Bean juice? Bean the transformation juice. is complete. <laughs> the revenge in my bowels! This is to a tribute to the fact that we don't really know what the bean is, what the coffee bean is. It might be a fruit. We're gonna do a purple one here to symbolize the berry. How can we get some of those marijuana berries? We were watching a movie the other night, Reefer Madness, it's a classic, of oh. course, and they referred to the, um, the leaves and the berries of the marijuana plant as being what people smoke. The dried leaves and berries are ground up and made into cigarettes by a simple hand machine. And I just want to know, where do you get those marijuana berries, and can I have some? Yeah, speaking of reefer madness, we found a, a uh, another video of a very similar sort, didn't we? Uh, well, an old film, actually, back from 1936 or 37, I think, Java Madness. Yeah, it was put out about the same time, similar subject matter, and we thought we'd show you some. So, let's roll the tape now. I've got that here, here. Java Madness. short notice. Tonight, I need this gathering to talk about the plague, the new plague that has swept our youth. Yes, it is an assassin of our youth. It is Java. You see, they drive this abominable drink by capturing the caffeine from the bean, the coca bean grown in Latin America, and it's brought up here to the United States to affect our youth. We must stop this madness. The addictive quality found in this caffeine inside of this java is unrelenting. The addiction is maddening. 
Many people have been known to do things they later regret, but can't, can't stop the madness, can't fight the caffeine. Let me recount a tale of a boy gone astray as he were a slave to the bee. Gentlemen. Oh, thank you. We would like two hot chocolates, please. Okay, come right up. I must be powder my nose. Oh, okay. Hey! How you doing? Um, I'm fine. How are you? Anybody sitting here? Uh, well, not right this minute. Ah, here's... Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate? There we go. Yes. Well, you can't drink that. That's a sissy drink. Well, drink some of this. Okay. Coffee. I 
don't have any. Java. I don't have any. Coffee. No. Coffee. No. Java. Ah. Uh, coffee. Ah. 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 Oh, she's dead. Oh, what have I done? Ah. happen to anyone, anyone at all. Our children could be corrupt by the bean. It could happen to your child, or your child, or even your child. Hey, what's going on? My ever? first cup of joe ever. <laughs> I kind of volunteered here to be the lab rat, the guinea pig, as it were, for the Rock's crew and their evil experimentation on humankind. Evil, <laughs> evil! My, 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 my body is not a temple. My body is a laboratory in some weird science fiction movie. <laughs> After he has this cup of coffee, we're going to put him behind the wheel of a car and see how he performs. Well, definitely an acquired taste. Yeah, well, well, we'll see what happens as he consumes this entire cup of coffee. Is it time to drive the car yet? No, you gotta finish your cup. We're checking for any kind of quivering or shaking. Well, just... <laughs> you're faking it. I think the, the coffee rush is definitely starting to come on. Really? Yeah. This is no skit here. Please understand, this is no preconceived <laughs> comedy sketch. This is reality-based television at its very finest. When there you it? are, sir. Here's the keys. That's the car. Not only is he on the coffee for the first time in his life, he also uh, hasn't driven a car for 15 years. Whoa, shit. <laughs> okay, that's neutral. I'll put it into drive for you. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's just like riding a bike. I mean, Turn once right. you learn, you never forget to ride. Okay. Okay. Now is when we get started getting a little bit reckless. Yeah. Oh, well, we seem to have made it safely around the block with only minor mishaps. We made it! All right, only you guys survived. Minor, yeah, minimal one casualties. One person was killed. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. wow. But we so uh, we'll have to celebrate with a mixed drink. Although I think that's oh. great. At W's uh, urging, um, uh, we're going to call this one a hell of a buzz, and uh, it's going to have some coffee in it. But first, um, we want to add some rum, because, of course, rum is uh, a three-letter alcohol. You know, it's R-U-M, rum. Kind of um, like rocks. Like rocks, yeah. And so it's an appropriate drink um, to add when you're just trying to get a buzz. Add about an ounce there. Frangelico. We'll add about an ounce of this as well. And uh, then just kind of top your glass, off, your mug, excuse me, your mug, mug, off, off with coffee, coffee. Um, oh, you can see that I'm having a little bit of a drippage problem. Design. I'm a drip. The important thing here is to actually taste the, the fruits of your labor, um, which I'm going to do now. Wow. <laughs> now that is a hell of a buzz. Next, we'll shoot him in the head. Get the rifle, Joe. <laughs> mm. Buzz. P pic picture, picture a 50-foot fly crashing into your head, or into your house, and then into <sighs> your head. That's, that's the hell of a buzz. <sighs> um, okay. <laughs> I'm going to read the viewer mail now. Dear J and B, whoa-wee, me so stoned right now. <laughs> uh, nope, yep, hmm. smell this, it's turtle crap, and it shows it right here, turtle crap, hmm. It doesn't smell like turtle crap, but more Mary Francis, please. Oh, he wants to see more of Mary Francis. Well, here, we should, uh, we should um, show her right now. There she is, that's Mary Francis. Okay, that would make my day. So I guess his day is made now. Your number one fan, baby, um, Particle Butthead. And he's got crapola here. Two suggestions. It's not folks. One, less Christy Paxson. <laughs> hmm. And two, less Naked B. Yuck. And three, more drinking, boys. Well, um, we've certainly um, been drinking a lot 
on this episode, and it says over down here in the corner, as you can see, um, over, and on the back, it, it, oh, oh, it's um, there. a cross-section view of my butt, complete with, replete with pimples, butt one, hairs, and butt two. So, um... I don't well, get it. So this person wants to see less of Christy Paxson. How ironic. I can't believe Particle Butthead wants less Christy Paxson. I don't think that's going to happen, Particle Butthead. Less Christy Paxson. Well, uh, I've worked my way in this group because I've worked long and I've worked hard. You know why? Because I'm taking over. That's right. That's right. You're going to have to watch me piss. You're going to have to watch me brush my teeth, eat, all the stuff that I love for people to see me doing. I'm doing exactly the reverse of what you want me to do. There's going to be a lot more of me. So get ready, Particle Butthead. In fact, Here's a little something just for you. It's just totally Christy. <laughs> That's right, Particle Butthead. I got more personality in my little pinky than you got in your entire butt. <laughs> See, Christy wear funny hats. More Christy. I need more Christy. That's right. And glasses. Watch Christy cook and eat. Watch Christy do this. Watch Christy do that. It's totally Christy. Watch Christy pee. And take a crap. <laughs> Stay in fit with Christy Paxson. That's right. The only aerobics hostess with armpit hair. And a good healthy dose of my ass. Watch Christy eliminate unsightly facial hair. I'm taking my anger out on you, Particle Butthead. <laughs> I'm a member of your fan club. I just want you to know. Particle Butthead fan club. Some old t-shirt that I didn't give a shit about, so... So look out, Particle Butthead. So I guess this brings us to the end of this fine, fine episode of Rocks called Slaves to the Bean. Yeah, thanks for tuning in, and, well, I, I don't know what else to say, really. Yeah, except um, thanks, and, and uh, we'll see you next time. Um, our hearts are warm and in the right place, and, um, and uh, they're beating um, wildly because caffeine is our friend. So see you later. And uh, just remember that even if this didn't have uh, anything to do with anything that you were interested in, next week we'll be doing it all again, but, well, it'll be completely different. So, yeah, tune um, in. Yes, next time, same time, same place, um, here on this channel that you're watching right now. Or not. I you know. <laughs> If I know. Is it our 75th episode? No. Our semi sesquicentennial? That's right. Yeah. All right. Well, um, you should tune in next week for that one um, because it's our 75th anniversary episode, the semi sesquicentennial episode. You'll finally get to see something that you haven't seen um, yet. And there's only one thing to there's so many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's so much. It's so with a bathroom. See you, boss.